they will ask you if there is anything you need the government to do for you you know to get yourself prepared for this day that they will off the electricity for like one minute <laughs> <laughs> so, so they send us briefs you know, no, they send us letters like, like I said, everything here is done on a piece of paper a piece of paper they, no, 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 they send us letters that time yeah, they, 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 they know we are sorry to inform you that and so, so they, three months from that day that they will come to carry out some repairs on the, this thing on the transmitter, this thing on the transformer box in front of the street so if there is anything if you can blah 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 the only thing that they do the repairs is only gonna last for one hour two hours stop <laughs> did they laugh at me <laughs> they say the repairs will only last for one hour one hour two hours also so hey, if there is anything you need the government to do for you if you want to go somewhere and stay you know you can apply and the government will see what they can do so after the repairs uh, and you know well for someone coming from nigeria it will be very strange you, you know you, 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 you'll be like in nigeria we don't see electricity for like six months man and no no nobody send you but here then they beg you Yo, people, so, you know, I, I shouldn't be talking about this. I mean, I shouldn't be speaking on this, but, you know, when when people, when you're being disturbed every day, everyone is calling you, asking you, hey, man, how can you help us come to Germany? How can you help us come to Europe? It gets to a point whereby you, like, you have to, like, Hey, uh, b before I continue, I don't want to sound. I don't want this to sound like I'm discouraging anybody, or I'm trying to discourage anyone from like if you want to travel out of Nigeria, and I'm telling you don't travel out of Nigeria because I know how you Nigerians think. I know how you think. I know how you think. So I don't want you to think that I'm trying to discourage you. Oh, I'm trying to, to tell you not to travel out of Nigeria, not to come to Europe, to Germany, to be specific, uh, to, to, to be, um, uh, how do you say it? But, you know, I'm tired of people asking me, hey, guy, can you help me travel out? How can I travel out? Can you give me invitation? Can you, like, work things out for me? And, like, People, I'm tired of that bullshit, man. Sorry, I'm driving and I uh, just like, I have to record this video to get, just to get this off my chest because I don't want to forget it. The thing be say, look guys, look, look, I've been in Germany for 17, getting to 19 years now. I'm German, I'm a German citizen. I hold, I hold, I hold a German passport. Um, I'm a dual. Dual citizen, I hold dual citizenship, Nigerian citizenship and German citizenship. Thing be said, I'm gonna like I'm here to tell you guys the truth, like to give it to you, tell you the cons and the cons and pros of living in Germany. I tell you why you shouldn't come to Germany. Because from my point of view, I would not I wouldn't advise anybody to come here. Don't leave Nigeria. If you've gotten that money, if you've gotten that money, and I know that leaving Nigeria to Europe, leaving Nigeria paying, you know, the hustling and the bustling of you, all the stress of you going to the foreign office, to the embassy to obtain your visa, applying for visa and waiting for that visa to be granted and all that, it's going to cost you time and money. And, you know, apart from the time, it's going to cost you money, lots of money. So my thing to people, my advice to people is always, hey, if you've gotten that money, look for something. Look for a small scale business. Look for a micro business in Nigeria and invest that money in, you know. Don't waste that money on, don't come to, don't like, um, 
Say you've been able to hustle, you've hustled up two million. You've hustled up like three million naira. In Nigeria, three million naira is a lot of money nowadays. Three million naira is a lot of money. Say you've hustled up that money in Nigeria. Eh? And um, I wouldn't advise you. I wouldn't I would not advise you to bring that money come to Europe and waste that money because you're coming here to waste that money because you're gonna waste that money what you're doing you going to the foreign office to get a visa is you wasting that money what I would advise you do is this eh? um, look for a micro business in Nigeria look for a micro business and invest that money in Look for what you can do in look for what you can do with that money in Nigeria and remain in Nigeria. Trust me. Now let me tell you why I feel I personally feel you shouldn't come to Germany. You can travel to UK, I you mean you can travel to the UK, you can travel to any part of Europe. I don't care. I I, I don't want to speak on those places because I haven't lived in those places for long. But I'm here to speak on Germany. I live in Germany. I'm a German citizen. I've been here getting close to 20 years now. So my back don't, uh, my skin don't be tight. You know, it can't break me any longer. I make I tell you, let me tell you something. Eh? You're not going to survive here. That's just the truth. And then the time, but that time we came here, we were... No, 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 no. Make a put it like this. We have been here so long. We've been here so long that here. We've been here so long that, you know, our, our, our skin, our skin, someone like me, my skin has gotten tough, has, has gotten tougher. You know, my skin has gotten is so thick that the country, the situation, the you know, uh, the, the way the system here is arranged and programmed to treat people, it can't break me any longer. So, I've been here so long, I've gotten used to the situation, I've gotten used to the condition, to the system, how the system is programmed to like you know, everything, everything. I've, I know, I've I'm used to it. It can't break me any longer. But you, who can speak the language, you're not used to racism. You are not used to all, you know, you're not used to paying tax, to paying taxes on stuff, on things. The cars you're driving in Nigeria, you don't pay tax on them. You don't repay them. You don't go to check them out. Um, um, your house, you don't pay taxes on your house. Your lands, you're not paying taxes on them. The water you're drinking, you're not, you know, you generate your own electricity, you drill your own borehole and generate and bring out your own water to drink. Yeah, like I tell you, had I known what I know now, I would not have come to this place. The thing is, it's too late for me now. I can't just pack up and leave. I've invested a lot in this place, I've invested a lot in this place i've sacrificed a lot to be in this place so i can just pack up and leave but you who hasn't left nigeria yet i will tell you like this remain in nigeria invest in nigeria and try as much as possible to make your life comfortable in nigeria <laughs> For someone coming from Nigeria, the official the official language of Nigeria is English language, right? We don't speak English in Germany. For the fact that I'm trying to speak English, if you've been paying attention, you will notice that I'm trying to speak English. I'm really trying to construct to construct my sentences. So like I'm being very, you know, I'm very careful with the things that comes out of my mouth because I don't want to sound stupid because I've lived here for a very long time. I, you know, uh, I don't communicate with people every day in English. 
I don't communicate in English on a daily basis. Nay. I speak German. So, you coming from Nigeria, you are coming from Nigeria speaking English. You have spoken English all your life. You have spoken pidgin all your life. So you're coming with the mindset that, hey, people here speak English. No, they don't. Though most people here, they understand English. Though most people speak English, but they will, they will, you know, it's going to be very difficult. You know, it's going to be, you'll be very lucky to meet the German who will, who is ready to communicate with you in English. They can speak English. They understand English. They understand everything you say. They will understand. They will listen to you and understand you. Because they are taught English in schools. They teach them English in their schools. But you being an African, they don't respect you to that level. They, they don't respect you to the level of wanting to communicate with you in English. Despite knowing that you are new in the country, that you don't speak the language. They will, they, they will tell you to your face to find a way, look for a way and learn the language. Especially if they know that you are a black African. But if they, if they kind of figure out that you are like a black American, they will force themselves to speak English because they worship Americans. But once they find out that you are an African, you are a black African, nobody here is going to communicate with you in English. And that's where your problems will begin. That's going to be the beginning of your problems. The language barrier, the language obstacle. So if you want to come to Germany, I will advise you, find a way, go to a German school or do a German course online. If you want me to teach you German, Send me an email, we can make arrangement, and I will teach you German online. I will teach you the German language, Dutch, online, and you're going to pay me for it. That's going to be obstacle number one. Germany is a very beautiful country. Life here is very, very easy. Life here is very, very comfortable. They have worked. They have worked extra hard to make things easy for the citizens, for the people living in this country. The problems we in Africa can't seem to figure out how to fix. The problems we in Africa don't, can't, don't seem to understand or don't seem to know how to fix. The little, little, little problems we can't fix in Nigeria, for, 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 for example... We are enjoying those things here. We are sometimes, you know, sometimes we take those things for granted here. You don't have electricity in Nigeria. You don't have water. You, you know, you have to, you generate your own electricity in Nigeria. You provide yourself with the drinkable water, right? This little, 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 little things that makes life easy. That we don't seem to know how to fix in Nigeria. They are all here. You enjoy those things here. But it comes with a but. The but there is. You have to pay for everything. For every of those things. Everything. You pay for everything here. The only thing you. You know. The only thing you don't seem to be paying for. Or the, the only thing you don't pay for literally, literally is the air you breathe. Outside of that, you pay for everything. Now, let me say this straight before I forget. This is not the UK. Germany is way, way different from the UK. Germany runs on a very different system, a very different RNGs. Germany runs on a very different metric system. It's not the UK. It is different. So, 
if you want to leave, if you are a Nigerian and you really have that money to spend, we shall always advise people against. If you have money, if you have been able to hustle up to 2 million, 3 million naira, because I know that if you want to move from Nigeria now to, say, Europe legally, if you want to follow the right, this thing, the legal way, what I mean by that is if you want to go to the immigration office, to the foreign office, apply for visa, then buy you a plane ticket and all that, it's going to cost you upwards of 3 million naira. It will be something of 1 naira, no. So what I always tell people is, look, listen, and I'm not trying to discourage anybody. What I always tell people is if you have been able to hustle up to 3 million, 4 million, 5 billion naira, or you've gotten a good paying job. <clears throat> you've gotten a good paying job in Nigeria. Stay in Nigeria. Use that money. Look for a micro business. Invest that money in Nigeria. And try as much as possible to make that micro business work. I'm not discouraging you from leaving Nigeria. No. But, but, if you have a good paying job, you have a house that you built, you have a house you're living in, you're not paying taxes on your house, you're not paying taxes from your car, you're not paying taxes on anything you own, you're able to generate electricity for yourself, you're able to dig a borehole behind your, your house, your, your compound, in your compound, you're able to... And you have a pay, a good paying job. Even if you don't have a good paying job, but you have these places, you have a place to live that you're not paying rent on. Stay in Nigeria. Look for a productive business to invest in. Look for something to do. Don't be lazy. Remain in Nigeria. Don't come abroad. <sighs> because... I am not one of those people who will come online and start telling you lies and start telling you yes. Yes, life here is comfortable. Life is comfortable for people like us. When I say people like us, I mean people like us who have lived here for over 20 years. Our skin don't thicken. Our skin don't become like more skin. Nothing fit break us now. So we have lived here for years. We are used to the system. We are, you know, we are in the system. Like me is talking, me speaking. I'm a German citizen. I'm a dual citizen. I hold dual citizenship. Nigerian citizen and German citizenship. So we, life is easy for us here because one, we can speak the language. We know the people. We've been here for long. It, it wasn't like this when we first arrived here. When I first arrived this country, it wasn't like this. I'm <laughs> telling you, it wasn't like this. It was tough back then, but I was able to, I was able to navigate. I, I was able to blend in, to find my way, navigate and like, you know, fix myself. I've never been to a language school in Nigeria. I learned my language. I learned my Germans on the street. I learned my German on the streets of Germany. Speaking with Germans, speaking with German girls, speaking with German boys. That's how I learned. I, got, I learned my German. I've never had been to a German school, but I have a German language certificate. The B, Eins, B, A, 1, A, 2, B, Eins, B, 2. I have them all because I needed the those. I needed those to apply for my citizenship. I needed those when I applied for my citizenship. So I wrote the test, never been to a German school, never learned German in school. I even went back to school. I have diplomas, I have degrees here. Never been to German school. I learned my Germans on the street. So my brain and your brain fit no be the same. Make I just try to tell you that. So life here is comfortable for us. People like us who have been here for a long time and who, you know, uh, I know what brought me here. I know why I left Nigeria. 
I've been here for a very long time. I've learned so many things. I'm used to so many things. I'm used to the racism. And, I, you know, uh, I'm accustomed to so many things. There are things now that I would just look, throw away my face, ignore them, and walk away. If I do those things in Nigeria, you could think, say, I'll be coward. But it get reason where I would do, it get reason why I could behave like that for here. Some things could just happen. I could look at my throwaway face. I could just walk out. But some of those things, I can't let it go. Some of those things, I can't let them slide in Nigeria. Or it get time. Back in the days, I wouldn't let those things slide. No. I will ride on you. Anyway, no be waiting. I want to talk about that. What I'm saying is, or what I've been trying to say is, life is comfortable here. Life is beautiful here for people like us. Because one, you have to learn how to tolerate the people here. You have to learn to live with these people. And don't you ever forget that this is their country. This is their area. You have to always remember that. That you are a foreigner. Despite say or forget say your whole citizenship, you are a foreigner because once you step out of the comfort of your house, everybody knows exactly who you are. They know that you are not German, that you are not European. They, they, they don't need to know if you hold a, 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 a their citizenship. No, as long as their skin color don't look like theirs, you are not one of them. So you have to learn to live with that. You have to learn to tolerate them because they are tolerating us. They have learned to tolerate us because, you know, all the bullshit we've caused abroad, I'm not here to fake it. All the bullshit we've caused abroad, all the problems, the trouble we've caused abroad, white people have really, really learned to tolerate us. Africans. So you also have to learn to tolerate and live among them. You have to respect their laws. Like I said, Germany is very different from the UK. Germany is very different from Canada. Germany is a very strict nation. They do things... <laughs> You know, on point, they tell you one, one is one. If they tell you here one, one is one, they will write they will write that one on a piece of paper. You sign, they sign, they will keep that one for 100 years. 100 years later, they will bring that one on a piece of paper out and say, look, we said one and the one is one. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it like, you know, everything you do, everything you do here is on a piece of paper. So you have to learn to live like that. You have to understand that. You have to obey their laws. You have to respect their tradition and culture. The same way you expect them to respect your culture when they come to Africa. You have to also respect them. They say it's reciprocal, right? If you're planning to travel to Germany, if you're planning to travel to Germany, know that Germany, in Germany, we don't speak English. Let me repeat that. We don't speak English. We speak German. Try as much as, try and get yourself acquainted with the German language before you come here. If you're coming from Africa. Try and get yourself, like, get a little knowledge of the German language before you leave Africa. To come here. Before you leave Niger, to come here. Because you no know, matter anything where you come here to do. If you know if it communicates, if you know if it communicates in that, you know, if, if you know if it talk, it, it, it you know, you know, could walk. I've lived here 20 years, getting to 20 years. They've never taken power. Power has never gone out for one. There was a time 
um, there was a time they wanted to carry out some repairs on my street. They had to inform us, I think, three months before that date. They had to inform us three months prior. Three months prior to that day. So we had to prepare. They will ask you if there is anything you need the government to do for you, you know, to get yourself prepared for this day. That they will off the electricity for like one minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, so they send us briefs you know, no, they send us letters like I said, everything here is done on a piece of paper a piece of paper they, you know, they send us letters that time yeah, they, 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 they you know, we are sorry to inform you that and so, so they, three months from that day that they will come to carry out some repairs on the, this thing on the transmitter, this thing on the transformer box in front of the street so if there is anything if you can blah 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 the only thing the, 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 the repairs is only gonna last for one hour two hours top <laughs> did they laugh at me <laughs> they say the repairs will only last for one hour one hour two hours also so hey, if there is anything you need the government to do for you if you want to go somewhere and stay you know you can apply and the government will see what they can do so after the repairs uh, and you know well for someone coming from nigeria it will be very strange you know you, 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 you be like in nigeria we don't see electricity for like six months man and no no nobody send you but here then they bake you here then they bake you say they will take electric for like Say they will off power for like one hour. They they beg you apologize, eh? and at the end of the month, they you know at the end of the month, the, the power provider, the company responsible for your bills, the company you're paying your electric bills to, they will deduct that one hour from your monthly bill. <laughs> No, the life here is sweet. Life here is sweet. But you have to speak the language. If you want to earn good money, if you want to, uh, like, get a good job, a good paying job, you have to go back to school, get yourself retrained, get some certificates, get yourself... See, the degree you'll be bringing from Nigeria in what shit here. Once you come over here, you have to, they will send you to what they call Om Shulung. You go get yourself retrained. Once you go get yourself retrained and once you that is done, they will give you their own certificate. They certify you, okay, this guy is okay. Yeah, we trust this guy. This guy can repair our cars. This guy can handle our machine and blah, blah, blah. They respect their, their certificate over your BAC. That's why I say it's very important you get yourself acquainted with the language. R racism. Racism. I, I have, res you know, I have experienced racism several times, but I, I have gotten used to it. I, I have become like a a accustomed to it. It's not a, a, it's not a big thing again to me. It's not a, a like, I, I don't let it worry me again. You, 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 uh, 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 I don't know how to say it right. I, I don't know how to put it right. I don't let it disturb me any longer because I have come to realize that there is nothing I can do to change people. That people human beings will always be human beings and i have also learned to you know i have come to accept the fact that this is not my country this is not my land this is not this is not even my continent that i'm a stranger in this place and that these people can behave anyhow they want to behave in their homeland i have made i, I have made peace with that 
because I've been to Nigeria several times, eh? I I see how Nigerians behave in Nigeria. So I I I have been to my village. And my village is a very small village, you know, that you go in the, and I, I always like compare it to, to this place. Whenever I go into a village, a very deep village in this place, I always like, how will this person, how would, or how will, or how would a white person feel in my village? That is how I'm, that is how I've been able to live with that, with you know, with with uh, with racism, I condemn racism. I don't support racism. I, I don't, you know. But I always like how would a how will a how or how would a white person be feel? How would they feel in my village if I was to carry take my white white friends to my village? How would they feel? So, once you understand that, once you understand that, you will learn to live among these people. You will just not allow racism to disturb you again. Understand that this is not your country. This is not your land. You don't belong here. That you are a stranger here. So, behave yourself. Where they don't want you, don't go there. It's as simple as that. If you see the people who don't like you if someone don't like you here that person will show it to you if someone doesn't like you here you will know in some cases you don't even need that person to tell you to your face that he or she doesn't like you you will know his or her actions will let you know that hey i don't like you so you do yourself a favor and just stay clear of that person it's as simple as that jobs 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 handwork things you can do with your hand things you can do with your hands like craft work they pay very well here like if you are a motor mechanic, if you are an engineer, all those things, they pay very, very well here. The craft work pays very well. So if there is, if you've learned anything in Nigeria, once you come over here, get yourself retrained and you will earn good money. Friends, it's, it's very difficult to make friends here. If you want to like, the only way you can make, you know, uh, I, I, I don't even want to speak on that. If you're a Nigerian, if you're a Nigerian, look for Nigerian community here and get yourself acquainted with some Nigerians. That's just it. It's boring. Life is boring here. You, um, like, just be yourself. Keep to yourself. If you want to survive here, if you want to live here, just keep to yourself. Be yourself. Do your thing like i do i'm you know i keep to myself I, I used to have friends man when i newly came here i had so many friends because i was like riding the trains every day going to different cities having but then i, I discovered that keep to yourself and your life will be very easy <laughs> and you will live very comfortable in this place you know no show yourself too much if you show yourself too much you know you could begin show yourself it's um it's a beautiful place man i would love to make like a live stream where we can talk in real time people you ask me questions and i answer your questions so if you want me to do a live stream to go live and like talk about things the things i've experienced here since i came here how has life how is life how has life been treating me or you know if you want me to talk about relationship how i 
got my German citizenship and all that, I can put you on, like I tell you how to do, like what to do, how to go about it and all that. But I'm not going to lie to you. I'm never going to lie to you to tell you, hey, blah, blah, blah. No, if you have been able to hustle 3 million, 4 million naira, use that money. Look for something productive, a micro business, start small in Nigeria, invest that money in Nigeria and remain in Nigeria. In Nigeria, you have your neighbors, you have your grandmother, you have your granddad, you have aunties, you have uncles, you have siblings, you have friends, you have neighbors. Here, you won't have none of those. Those things don't exist here. I'm just keeping it 100. Those things, um, those advantages don't exist here. Here is every man on his or herself is every person on his or herself you are on your own if you have children if you have a child you have to find a figure out a way to take care of that child while you go to work is it that you apply so is it that you employ someone to come take care of your child while you go to work or you stay at home and take care of your child education education here is free education here is free transportation here is free there is no place in this country that is not accessible there is no place in this country you can't go you can't access with the with public transport with the public transportation system if that is correct there is no place in this country you won't find a, a train station, a bus. There are, there are no streets. There are literally no streets in this country you won't find a bus stop. So this country, every, you know, like I said, life is comfortable. The things we can seem to figure out in Nigeria, these things we can seem to fix in Nigeria, these people don't pass that level. They did. So, those are the things we are enjoying here. Insurance will kill you. You will pay for everything. So if you are not ready to pay for everything, for all those things, for, you know, see, forget, say, if you see anybody, people people be coming from their abroad, be showing you. Like I said, this is not the United States where you can work three, four jobs at a time. No. Here you do one job. You get one job. If you want, if you want to do something else, you have to go file a paper and they see how much you earn and deduct it because you're not going to cheat one person. One person isn't going to pay for everything while you're getting money from the other person for free. No, here, so it's you know people do one job, and that job will pay you well if you have if your papers are straight. People come from the UK and be making noise, bragging how comfortable life is in the UK. Maybe, but the UK is a very deep. The, Great Britain is a very different place. It's a very different place. People there, they have very different mindset. I'm telling you this. I'm German. I live in Germany. I'm telling you facts. People here, we have very different mindset. We do things differently. The British, they do things differently. So live in the, you know, live in. If you want me to go live and stream so you can ask me questions and we talk, please. Or comment. Eh? I'm Henry Crackhouse and I'm. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see you in my next video. Till then, stay blessed and always shine your eye. Nothing do you. Eh?